learn deaf at TV, learning English is fun and exciting because there's you and I with teacher Shadai. Hello there, my ever enthusiastic grade 6 learners. Get ready for another day of fun and learning. Come, join me, your teacher Shadai, and we will explore your favorite classroom on TV together. This is English Hour right here on Deped TV. Ready thinking for what's up and coming. Hello, readers. Today, we will be talking about three important persons. First, we will be talking about me. Secondly, we will be talking about you. And lastly, we will be talking about them. But wait, you may be wondering, why will we be talking about me, you, and them? What's the point? Well, there is a point, because today we will be talking about what a point of view is. Do you know that every story that we hear and read has a storyteller who has his own point of view? The storyteller is the narrator. But who is the narrator? Answering this intriguing question about the stories that you read will make you better readers. Kids. I'd like you to meet these three persons involved in the point of view. Miss first person, Miss second person, and Miss third person. Are you all ready to learn? Great! Get your pen and paper ready, your ears and eyes steady. All set? Yes, we are! Kids, I interviewed our three visitors from the POV gym and they are going to talk about their secrets as well as give us advice on how to lead a healthy lifestyle in this time of pandemic. Are you ready to listen to these three ladies? I want you to take note of how they present their advice. I should have fixed meal times such as breakfast, lunch, and dinner as part of my healthy eating habits. A healthy breakfast is necessary for refueling my body. I cannot function well on an empty stomach. I should not skip any regular meals in a day, especially breakfast. You should have fixed meal times, such as breakfast, lunch, and dinner as part of your healthy eating habits. A healthy breakfast is necessary for refueling your body. You cannot function well on an empty stomach, and you should not skip any regular meals in a day, especially breakfast. They should have fixed meal times, such as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's part of their healthy eating habits. A healthy breakfast is necessary for refueling their body. They cannot function well on an empty stomach. They should not skip any regular meals in a day, especially breakfast. Kids, have you noticed how the three interviewees gave us their secrets and advice? What pronouns were they using? That's right! Miss first person used I and my. Miss second person used you and your. While Miss third person used they and their. Now, let's relate how our three interviewers gave their advice to what the point of view is. A point of view refers to the way a writer or narrator allows the reader to hear, see, and feel what takes place in a piece of writing. There are three main point of view types. Number one, the first person. 
The first person is used when the narrator is the character of the story. He or she may be the main character or one of the characters. The pronouns I, my, we, and our are used. Here is an example. I bolted out to bed, grabbed my backpack, and rushed out the door. Today was the day I was finally going to learn to ride a horse. Number two, the second person is used when you are the narrator of the story. This type of point of view is rarely used in literary writing. It is commonly used in instructional writing. The pronouns you and your are used. Here is an example. You are calm. Your breathing is slow and even. You are sitting on a bench looking at the ocean. The ocean is calm and so are you. Number three, the third person. The third person is used when the narrator is not involved in the story. He or she is only a witness. He or she knows the thoughts and feelings of the characters. The pronouns he, she, it, and they are used. Example, Benny opened the cabinet to grab a jacket, only to be greeted by a horrifying monster. He screamed and ran out of the room, scared out of his mind. Inside her monster costume, Rita giggled. She had tricked her brother. Kids, do you understand our topic? Awesome! Kids, I believe you are now ready for some fun-filled activities. I want you to get your pen and paper. Pens ready? Check! Sheets of paper ready? Check! Directions. On your paper, write first, second, or third to show the point of view being referred to. Number one. The narrator is not inside the story and only knows the thoughts and feelings of the characters. Answer, third. Number two, this POV uses pronouns such as I, me, my, we, us, and our. Answer, first. Number three, this POV gives instructions on how to do something and the pronoun you is used. Answer, second. Number four. It uses the pronouns they, he, she, and it. Answer, third. Number five. This point of view is rarely used in literary writing, but commonly used in instructional writing. Answer, second. So, how did you do? Did you get the correct answers? No worries, we're here to learn, learn, and learn. Oh, do you hear the clock ticking? Uh-huh. Yes, it's recap time. There are three point of view types. The first person, the second person, and the third person. First person. The narrator is a character inside the story and uses words like I or me. The second person. 
the narrator is directly speaking to you. The reader and uses the pronouns you or your. It sounds like you are giving directions. Third person, the narrator is outside the story. This person uses words like he, she, they, and it are used. Now kids, you are now ready to apply what you have learned about the point of view types. Let's do this fun activity. The title is, Who Am I? I want you to prepare your pen and paper again. Are you ready? Let's begin! Directions Read the items carefully and identify the point of view used in each one. Number 1. Lito was rushing to get to school because he was going on a field trip. He felt so happy and excited that he was going on his first field trip of the year. He knew that everything was going to go well that day. Number 2. The crowd began to roar as I made a few practice swings with a bat. The umpire called to me sharply to hurry. I was not in a hurry to face the most famous pitcher in history. Number 3. You know you have to get two connections on time, but you decide to stop off at the automatic tubig machine for a drink. You can't help it because you love cold water, but you are now late for class. Number 4. I know it's time to go to sleep. But I can't stop playing my new favorite video game. I'm addicted. Number 5. She ran as fast as she could up the hill. Although she was hot and exhausted, she knew if she kept her pace, she would win the race. Number 6. Even though the class is very noisy, you must focus on the assignment for you to do well on the test. Your hard work will pay off in the end. Number 7. Our class has to take a reading test on Monday and Tuesday. We have been reviewing every single day and I'd say we are prepared for the test. Number 8. If you want to do well on your reading and math tests, you need to focus and pay attention in class. You must do your homework nightly and ask for help when you need it. Number 9. Adrian was anxious when he got home from school Thursday afternoon. His teacher gave so much homework and he knew that his mom wouldn't let him play video games unless all of his homework was done. Number 10. She liked ice cream, but he liked cake, so they bought both. Are you ready to show your answers? Awesome! Let's check them! Number 1. Lito was rushing to get to school because he was going on a field trip. 
He felt so happy and excited that he was going on his first field trip of the year. He knew that everything was going to go well that day. Answer, third person. Number two, the crowd began to roar as I made a few practice swings with a bat. The umpire called to me sharply to hurry. I was not in a hurry to face the most famous pitcher in history. Answer, first person. Number three, you know you have to get two connections on time, but you decide to stop off at the automatic tubing machine for a drink. You can't help it. You love cold water, but you're now late for class. Answer, second person. Number four, I know it's time to go to sleep, but I can't stop playing my new favorite video game. I'm addicted. Answer, first person. Number five, she ran as fast as she could up the hill. Although she was hot and exhausted, she knew if she kept her pace, she would win the race. Answer, third person. Number six, even though the class is very noisy, you must focus on the assignment for you to do well on the test. Your hard work will pay off in the end. Answer, second person. Number seven, our class has to take a reading test on Monday and Tuesday. We have been reviewing every single day and I'd say we are prepared for the test. Answer, first person. Number eight, if you want to do well on your reading and math tests, you need to focus and pay attention in class. You must do your homework nightly and ask for help when you need it. Answer, second person. Number nine, Adrian was anxious when he got home from school Thursday afternoon. His teacher gave so much homework and he knew that his mom wouldn't let him play video games unless all of his homework was done. Answer, third person. Number 10, she liked ice cream, but he liked cake, so they bought both. Answer, third person. Congratulations, kids! You really did great today! Right up next is our last activity. Don't forget about our point of view discussion a while ago. The title of this activity is Who is telling the story? Directions The following are excerpts from the works of famous writers. Identify the point of view used by the author in developing the piece. Number 1 In Japan, more than 200 years ago, a lonely little boy grew up to be a great man. His name was Yataru Kobayashi. He had been left motherless at an early age, and his father, though kind, was often too busy to take notice of him. From The Memory of Beauty by Hanaku Fukuda. Answer third person. Number two. By this time, darkness was coming on, and weakened and tired as I was. I lay down and fell asleep on the grass. When I awakened, it was daylight. I was lying on my back, and when I tried to rise, I could not. From Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Answer, first person. Number three, if you can't be a highway, then just be a trail. 
If you can't be a sun, be a star. It isn't by the size that you win or fail. Be the best of whatever you are. From Be the Best of Whatever You Are by Douglas Mollett. Answer, second person. Wow, you all did great. Two thumbs up, then high five. Today, we got to analyze and understand the three point of view types. Yes, we all did. Believe and together we can. This has been another day of thinking, doing, and learning right here in your favorite classroom on TV, The English Hour. This has been your teacher, Shadai, saying, learn English today and your dreams are just a word away. Keep it right here on Deped TV. Ready thinking for what's up and coming. Goodbye, everyone! Thank you.